In this lesson, we're going to be talking about WiMAX. Now, WiMAX is a way of providing wireless access to networks across a wider area than just Wi-Fi. So you can think of Wi-Fi as being a wireless local area network. WiMAX is a much wider area network, and it's really designed to provide wireless last mile services as a way of replacing cable modem or DSL. Now, where Wi-Fi is the 802.11 set of standards that falls under the triple E, WiMAX is actually 802.16. So it's a different set of protocols, which means you need different adapters in order to make use of it. You'll see here, sometimes WiMAX is referred to as Wi-Fi on steroids, simply because it has a wider reach than Wi-Fi does. However, even though it's a last mile access alternative to cable modem and DSL, it still really tends to be used in urban areas. For example, some cities are deploying WiMAX as a way of getting businesses to come to their locations. They provide these WiMAX services. Businesses can just connect to their WiMAX services. It's an enticement for these businesses to actually make use of network services that are provided by the city. You might have a densely populated suburban community that maybe would offer WiMAX to the people that live there. It's not going to be great for rural applications simply because you still need antennas and you need these base stations that are capable of transmitting. And this costs money, of course. And in order to recoup the money that goes into these facilities, you need subscribers for that. And rural subscribers, there just aren't enough of them in order to recoup the costs that go into these sorts of things. So you need probably a reasonably densely populated area, which is why you commonly see these in urban locations. Now you can see here that there are some fairly large companies that are making use of these services or who have announced the possibility of offering these services. You can see Sprint, Nextel, Google, Intel, and so forth. You do need a different network adapter. And you can see one here. This is a USB modem that would be used to connect to WiMAX services. And this is going to connect you to the WiMAX services. It's going to receive the radio transmissions. It's going to be on different frequencies, of course, than Wi-Fi uses a completely different set of protocols. And you're also going to get a network interface that comes along with this USB modem. So again, you've got the interface on your local machine, and this modem is actually going to do the translation that communicates out to the WiMAX network. So this is a different way of providing network services using wireless transmission that is still different from the Wi-Fi services that we have been talking about, the 802.11 services that fall in the 2.4 gigahertz range. You can see here, this actually operates in the 10 to 66 gigahertz range. And there are some additional ones that may fall into lower frequency spectrums as well.